are now at DEF CON 2. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He surfaced, Mr. President. I'm sure you all recognize this man. We know him only as Yuri, fugitive advisor to Soviet Premier Romanov. While we were busy fighting the Soviets, Yuri was using his mind control technology to establish a secret army of his own. A group of Yuri's initiates have taken Alcatraz Island here in San Francisco. They've constructed some sort of device there. What kind of device? Perhaps I can explain, Mr. President. Yuri. The device is called a Psychic Dominator. There is a network of such devices spread across the globe. More of your mind control tricks? No tricks, Mr. President. In a few moments, I will unleash a tidal wave of psychic energy designed to dominate the minds of an entire planet. There will be no more free will, only my will. Yuri. Yuri, Yuri. The war's over. Can't we all just get along? What if I was to give you a full presidential pardon? Your country needs a leader. It could be you. Why should I be content to lead one nation if I can control the whole world, Mr. President? You can't threaten us. We're the most powerful nation on Earth. We did win the war, you know. Did you? Indeed. I say not. Mr. President, something's happening. The device is beginning to deploy. Call in an airstrike. I want that tower taken out. Command, this is Mojo One. We are on station. Roger, Mojo One. Target is located on Alcatraz Island, Vector 270, at 10 miles. Target acquired. Engage, engage. Francisco, the psychic dominator on Alcatraz will not function. Most unfortunate. But we have other devices. I think time has come to activate them. really going to do it. May God help us all. The situation looks bad, Commander. Yuri's forces have successfully detonated two of his psychic dominator devices, turning much of the planet into mindless Yuri drones. Luckily, the device here in San Francisco seems to be underpowered. It hasn't been activated yet. Stand by, Commander. I have Special Agent Tanya on the line. There may be a way out of this, Commander. Doc Einstein has a new toy. Now, it hasn't been tested yet, but it might be our only way out of this. Right, Doc? Ugh, Doc? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is my prototype temporal displacement device. I believe we can use it to transport your forces backwards in time. With luck, 
you may be able to avert the psychic dominator disaster before it has begun. But we don't have a lot of time, Commander. Yuri's forces are trying to capture power plants throughout the city to divert power to the psychic dominator. Well, the docks machine needs power too. So you have to get out there and you have to capture power plants yourself. Hey, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I'm a field op, I'm not a strategist. And I hate to admit it, but right now I wish General Carver was still alive. If my device works, Miss Tanya, you may get your wish. When you return to the past, Contact my earlier self. I may be able to help. Yeah. Wait. <sighs> Looks like I'm out of commission for a while, Commander. Finish what we started. I'm down, but I'm not out. <sighs> Let's go. Traveling back in time gives us another opportunity, Commander. President Dugan asked me to contact an old friend once we arrived. I hope you're sitting down. Well, Commander, from what I understand, the future ain't what it used to be. Now, our job is to set it right. According to Executive Order 9066, which, uh, by the way, won't be written for another couple of months, you know, a man could blow a fuse getting his mind around this time travel stuff here. Anyway, the gist of this thing is that we're involved until the bitter end. We got a job to do, son. The lieutenant will fill you in. Commander, Yuri has taken control of Hollywood using mind control technology. He's begun to use the media to spread subliminal propaganda. Here's a sample with the subliminal mind control properties filtered out. We fight a life or death struggle against the powers of capitalism. Only complete faith in Yuri can protect you. Only total compliance will save the lives of you and your family. Empty your mind and submit to my will. The less you know, the better off you will be. I'm Yuri. Obey me. We're receiving a streaming video feed via satellite uplink, Commander. It's from Chairman Bing, the trillionaire CEO of the Massive Soft Corporation in Seattle, Washington. I'm patching it through now. I don't know how long I'll be able to stay online. Yuri's forces are crawling all over the Massive Soft campus. He's built a nuclear missile silo and he's threatening to nuke Seattle unless I fund his war effort. He's also forcing our R&D department It's some sort of special project. Looks to me like it's some um, genetic software. I have terrible news, Commander. Professor Einstein has been captured. We believe Yuri plans to force him to help improve the psychic dominator technology. With the professor's help, Yuri could finish the psychic dominator network even sooner. We cannot let that happen! Commander, you will be pleased to know that my work for the enemy was not totally without some benefit. I have sabotaged the Psychic Dominator. Yeah, you can use it against Yuri's forces. However, it will most likely blow up after the first time you use it. Espionage, you see, it is not my vocation. Gentlemen, our spy satellites have spotted a huge laboratory facility in Australia. Now, this has got to be where Yuri has his cloning operation. Intel's gotten wind of his plans. He intends to kidnap key allied leaders and replace them with clones. Commander, some of our best operatives gave their lives to get this information. Let's make that sacrifice mean something. Take out that lab! Good news and bad news, Commander. The outcome of the war wasn't changed. The Soviets have surrendered. The bad news is, Yuri's still at large. The world leaders aren't taking any chances. They're meeting at a classified location to sign the treaty with the Soviets. Per the General's orders, restrict... Good day, Lieutenant. 
Where is his top secret meeting of world leaders? I... I can't... Tell me. London... London, England. Parliament building. What the blazes is going on? We've got an unauthorized transmission. Cut the satellite link. Well, blow it to kingdom come if you have to. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Since he can't clone the Allied leaders, he's bound to try a more direct approach. They're meeting in London right now to ratify the treaty with the Soviets. Get to London ASAP, Commander. And you, get a medic out to the Lieutenant. Commander, I failed you. I put the whole operation in jeopardy when I told Yuri that the world leaders were meeting in London. As of this moment, I'm tending my resignation. Oh, gosh! You're a vital part of this team, Lieutenant. If you think you're the only officer ever to have his brain twisted by that maniac, you're free to leave. Otherwise, I won't hear any more foolishness about resignations. Are you with us? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, let's concentrate on finding this madman before he can do any more damage. General, I think I have something. Well, let's hear it. I've been triangulating Yuri's transmission, sir. I believe I've tracked his location. Good to have you back, Lieutenant. Well, I'll be dipped in molasses. He's holed up in the Antarctic. Okay, this is it, Commander. The whole enchilada. Prepare to move out. Listen to me. You will obey. You behave, or there'll be no dessert tonight. I am Yuri. You will obey. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a nice, safe spot for him to live out his days. Professor Einstein calls it a psychic isolation chamber. <laughs> Thanks to you, Commander, he won't be able to mind control a fly. What the heck's going on? We're picking up a time distortion wave, General. It is the two timelines, Lieutenant. They are merging. One series of events must take precedence over the other. Timelines merging in three, two, one. We are now at DEFCON 2. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He surfaced, Mr. President. How you been, Mr. President? General Carville? How... Did you ever hear of time travel, sir? What do you think? The President's having a victory bash at the White House tonight, so I thought maybe you might... You coming, Commander? That wasn't supposed to happen. Professor! Doc! Yeah, you still have that time machine, right? Good. Could you send me back in time like, two hours? I don't think you got your timeline straight. Catch you on the replay? Comrade General, it is pleasant to see you again, even under these circumstances. The traitor Yuri has activated two of his psychic dominator devices. Cities around the world are falling under his power. However, we have discovered a plan by the Americans to alter the events of the past few hours. Stand by, comrade. I'm receiving an encrypted message from a secured wavelength. It's good to see loyal face, comrade general. However, there is little time. Allies are creating new technology for traveling backward in time. The Americans plan to use this machine to go back early in war. There, they will destroy your psychic dominator devices before they can be completed. Comrade General, if you can capture the 
this American time machine, we might have opportunity to change history and assure Soviet victory. The fate of Soviet Union, of entire world, rests in your hands. Oh, I must go. Comrade Sophia has recorded a message to give this to my best self. Asvatanya, comrade general. So, comrade, I am understanding you come from dark and terrible future. According to report I received from your communications officer, allies will win war by using sneaky device called Chronosphere to invade Moscow. You must go to Germany, destroy this uh, Einstein's laboratory before he can invent this chronosphere device. Allies will give up their foolish resistance and join our glorious Soviet cause. Then together, we take care of traitor Yuri. Have you seen State News magazine? War is over, Comrade General. The Allies have surrendered. Now they fight with us against the traitor Yuri. All of Soviet people are full of gratefulness to you. Nazdrovinya! Our special intelligence operatives report another psychic dominator device being constructed in London. Our Premier wants us to destroy it before Yuri can react. Comrade General, I have very bad news. Premier Romanov's plane was shot down while returning to Moscow. The aircraft went down over Morocco. We believe that the Premier is alive and hiding somewhere in the city. Ah, my good friend! I am back where I belong, sound and safe. The traitor Yuri is building fleet of boomer submarines. These can launch missiles at any city of his choosing. Zofia will tell you more. You must be careful, comrade. Yuri has many more surprises planned for us, I think. Well done, comrade general. We have analyzed flight plan of this rocket ship. It is programmed to fly to the moon. We must find out why. You have cosmonaut training, yes? The liftoff was without complications, Comrade General. You'll achieve lunar orbit in moments. Your retro rockets should fire automatically to allow for a smooth landing. Take care, my General. You have many reasons to return safely, no? Retro rockets will fire in three, two, one. Your spacecraft has landed, Comrade General. Finally, Soviets have reached the moon. One baby step for Comrade General, one giant leap for Soviet people, yes? <laughs> Congratulations, Comrade General! Or should I say, Cosmonaut General! We have discovered the traitor's location. Yuri commands his forces from his ancestral home in Transylvania. He is like Monster from movies, yes! <laughs> I am certain. He has new skin for world domination. End this, Comrade General. Destroy Castle and crush him beneath the stones. This could be your most dangerous mission, Comrade General. The entire world watches and waits. To have come this far only to fail now, it is unthinkable. You must not fail. Forgive me for speaking frankly, but it might help you to know that upon your return I hope to see you in Moscow. 
winter there is cold, yes? But this winter could be different. The castle has been taken, my general. I knew you would be victorious. Comrade General, we are picking up an energy buildup beneath the castle. The signature wave is consistent with distortion wave of the time machine. I found your little device in San Francisco. Repairing it was a simple matter. It is too late, comrade. The entire world and all of its history is mine to command and conquer. We still have the time machine's command codes, comrade general. I have overridden the controls and released all of the energy reserves. If you remember, we ourselves experienced some difficulty when too much energy was channeled into the machine. The machine's energy reserves have been depleted. Yuri cannot use the machine without additional power. He will be trapped in time. What is that? Who is there? Time travelers, the traitor Yuri has been defeated. Soviet troops parading down Wall Street as the stock market closed forever. New golden age of space exploration, thanks to Premier Romanov and his bold new program. He knows what the future may hold as communism leaves the boundaries of our planet and expands across the solar system.